gonna have to move out by the end of the month, and the building is going to be dead. Hi, this is Mr. Lewis from the city. He's looking to inspect the building. As I was saying, I, uh, the structural damage is just too much on the, the beams uh, on the first and second floors. There's not much we can do. I've seen a lot of buildings across the city as an inspector, and, and I'm going to have to tell you that this building is going to be condemned. By the end of the month, the tenants are going to need to be out, and uh, there's just, uh, that's, the, that's it. That's the, the final thing. Are you certain it needs to be condemned? Yeah, if that's a final decision. I'm sorry. That's, that's all we can do. Okay. Good luck with everything, Mr. Jones. Thank you. Listen, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. It seems like everyone's going to have to move out by the end of the month. Wow. Well, my sister will live with my aunt, and I think my mother and I will just find a place. Do you have any other place for us to stay? I don't have any place for people to go, but you've been a good tenant, but there's, it's out of my hands at this point. Hey, are you okay? You look kind of down. Yeah, I'm all right. It's just that my mom and my sister, I haven't seen them for a while. They're staying at my aunt's. Well, they're at your aunt's. They should be okay. Yeah, I guess. Well, if you want, you can stay the night at my house. All right. All right, let's go. Man, we was at the club the other night, man. I don't know what was going on, man. We should have had a better time than this. How you doing? Good, how are you? My name's Dee. Welcome to my restaurant. You all right? Yeah. What bring you in here? Wow, well, at school they talk about us helping the community, so how can I be a part of this? You looking for a job? Yeah, you. Really? We have a lot of work in here, you know. You cut up the you know, provisions, you make sure you cook the food, you, you make sure the dishes are washed and such. So, you're looking for a job and be ready to work? Yeah. Come see me tomorrow now, okay? All right. All right, stop. How was your first day? It was really fun. Yeah. You had fun? Yeah. It's good to serve the people in the community. If you know, give them food, they feel good, substance in their body, hold their head a little higher and such. But earlier, you're telling me something about uh, um, some proposition you want to talk about, something called a food pantry, what that is? Yeah, because I noticed a lot of food like, at the end of the day or whatnot, so I was wondering if we could really give back to the community like, by having a food pantry. So basically a food pantry, uh, we would give out to the homeless wow. free food. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could do something like that, but I have a better idea. We need to introduce you to my friend. But she actually runs a community garden here in the city. So we're going we're gonna to call her and tell her about you, what you want to talk to her about and make sure things happen so. Okay? okay. That sounds good. Thank you, God, for making me have a good day today. I pray as I'm about to lay down, you watch over my mom and my sister, give them a place to sleep and something to eat. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen.
So may I introduce you to Kim? She run this garden in here. That's a good produce and such. Potatoes mm. and tanya and bonyata, a lot of food that actually may use, you know? A lot of things they grow in here. Yeah. Kim, good afternoon. Hey. How you doing? Good, how's it going? Good, good, good. Long time no see. You too. All oh. right. This is the young lady I was telling you about. Her name is Melanie. Hi. Melanie Hi. Kim, Kim Melanie. Nice to meet you. My name is Kim. Alright, that's good now. We're gonna go back to the restaurant, okay? Okay. Alright, I'll be safe. Come in, come in. Because you take a lot of work to You'd be surprised. You know, we have really slow productivity. Um, you know, we have no problems or issues growing or producing, but managing. That's the most difficult part. We have difficult managing the property, and, you know, um, unfortunately, when you can't get the transport and the trade of the food, it's unfortunate because you know 30% of our waste just we have no use for it and it's, you know it's I was very happy when Dee called me and proposed this idea because it was a solution to my problem. Well after the food pantry you won't have any problems with waste anything will just go to that. Yeah and that was one of my concerns is um you know where where do you think about opening a food pantry? Do you have some place in mind or well, my old house manager was telling me about these open lots and houses that people don't use anymore mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they don't want to repair it because that's a lot of money. So we were thinking about calling him and, you know, kind of picking one of those. That would be great. And you know what? If you need volunteers, we can make it happen. Um, I know myself and Dee, he could come down and help you out and we can round up some volunteers from the Worcester Youth. And I'm really thankful for you and Dee just helping me with this whole pantry. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything. And, you know, anything to help you out, alright, Melanie? Alrighty. Thank Take you. care. You too. Well, guys, for a while now, I've been homeless. And um, I'm homeless due to um, my building wasn't like, safe enough for us to live in. So my landlord decided to evict us. And um, I've been sleeping over your house and your house as a sleepover. But in reality, I have nowhere to go. Pam, girl, I'm sorry. It must be really tough on you. I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad when you first experienced me. I'm sorry, girl. Well, now you guys could understand why I don't hang out as much as I used to. I mean, you gotta do what's best for yourself and your situation. I get that. So, about your food pantry project. Do you need any volunteers? You guys would be willing to help with that? We got your back. I mean, this actually applies to real people in our circle. How can we not? We got your back. Guys, this really means a lot to me. You guys are really so good. Oh, thanks, guys. How you guys doing? Hi, guys. Hey. Well, I had this cool today that I don't really use anymore. So, I thought I would like donate them. Um, thank you guys. You guys, like, this is really a thoughtful job. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. You right. too. Hey, Melanie. I heard you were starting a food pantry, so my mom told me to bring you this pot. Thank you. That's awesome. I can't believe how many people are donating. I'm saying. Hi, Hi, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Bye. Honey, hi! You did it! I'm so proud of you. I thought you were working today. Honey, I can remember when you were such a small baby. How you always put people ahead of you, but you need to put yourself first because that's the way you're going to make it. It's such a blessing to me, and I want you to keep that spirit the way it is, okay? Oh, you're going to make me cry. Oh, by the way, I'm 
By the way, I have a surprise for you. What? What is this? It's the key to your new house. Oh, God. Oh. You're such a great person, sweetie. Today's just been a really good day. Really.